Well, finally here. Spring is, uh, spring is, has come, snow is melted, weather's slowly warming up. Ready to come up out of the dirt. Pretty exciting time. I'm um, just gonna get the benches up. Uh, we'll start pulling trees out. Finally, finally. So it was minus four last night, uh, but, but then uh, should just be minus one tonight and tomorrow night, so. Yeah, so the trees are all healed into the dirt. Tucked in, all looking really good. You don't, won't really know if they survive till uh, you know, a couple months, well, even a month from now, if they push out growth, they should be all just fine. Nice to have the benches up and the trees up there. Need a little work, a lot of work. Some of the branches get kind of bent down just from the snow having the wire on there. I think it just bent the wire down and kept it down where normally it would just kind of spring back up. Uh, so a few of these things, like uh, maybe just like this, it's just bend down a lot. Still digging out trees, a few more left in there. Uh, this one's gonna get transplanted, uh, coming up into a nicer container. It's nice, uh, one of the hemlocks I did from earlier in the year. Just really liking the shape of it. Yeah, pulled, needs to be pulled back a bit, and trimmed a bit. It's, it's grown out quite a bit, so it responded well to its last trim. So, um, you know, cutting it back a bit. <laughs> this is that crazy oak. It's nowhere near ready to grow yet, but uh, just a weird looking spruce, juniper, some of these trees. This one's gonna get repotted. This was early, early on I collected this tree and it's been this pot for a long time. It actually spent a whole season inside, like all winter. Amazingly, it, it's, uh, it's done well, but it's really been sort of stunted by the, the container and uh, 
it just it keeps growing, but it's just stayed really ramified and tight, uh, which is nice. So I'm gonna do some work on that tree and re repot it here soon. Another hemlock needs some work. Uh, this is the tree I collected uh, at Alpine last year, and it's it's got some nice nice little buds on there. So um, not as strong as. Some of the other alpine, subalpine firs that I have, but uh, looking good still. So happy. Nice. Uh, just needs a wiring got bent a little bit. Spruce, bird's nest, looking good. This one's gonna get a repot. I think the angle, something like that. There's subalpine fir here. I can show you the, the tips on these are just. Just a lot stronger looking. That one also needs a repot. Beautiful clump. I actually just had the thought of putting this on a uh, on a slab or something because I, I kind of I feel like I need to bring the soil up to here um, and just have it look like a clump style. But this is kind of they're all coming out of a trunk, and I just feel like it would be nicer out of a clump, make it look older. Um, uh, but that means I need to bring the soil up. And I think on a slab, you can kind of get away with that a little more. So that's just a thought. Slab's a little more risky in the dirt washes away. And I just need to have a big enough slab. But I, I feel like I do have some big enough slabs that I could get that to, to kind of hold. But yeah, trees are looking good. I mean, of course, you don't really know how they're going to turn out. This is a sort of bigger uh, trembling aspen. My God. Let's see over here. Yeah, this one's gonna, this one needs a new transplant of the pot cracked and the dirt's horrible and it's been in here for a while, but uh, it's, uh, I might, we're actually on the other side of it. Oh, it should be, but it's gonna be a great one. Another, another transplant, a lot, a lot of transplants. Uh, this one, a really small amount of dirt, but um, pushing lots of growth and just this sort of gnarly, gnarly base. So uh, I'm going to work this tree, you know, bring all this down and, and try to kind of highlight this piece. Just a maple. There's a uh, spruce that I did a working on. I did video of it, but I didn't, I never posted the video. Um, it's, uh, it's kind of a weird video on how it turned out. Um, so anyways, we'll see. I might, uh, this was wires came down a lot. Oh, it looks cracked a bit in there. Cut it really tight to that. Um, yeah, that might not survive. Looks like it got pushed down by the snow, right? Scene. Anyways, so I'll just keep giving you updates and uh, keep videoing from there. But uh, yeah, I'll try to get I'll try to get some nice, get them out on the benches, nice for you in a couple couple weeks here. And uh, once I do some work on them and reset it up, and kind of show you the collection.